The first thing I have to do is plan how my vase and flowers are going to fit. Because if I make my flowers too big or my vase too small, it won't be proportional, right? So it needs to fit properly without feeling squashed. And maybe one of the stems crosses over the others. Because inside the vase, do they all just go in straight or do they cross over each other? Cross over. Yeah, so maybe they cross over and maybe there's another one that comes like right here. Right? Are we really looking? Because part of being a great artist is being somebody who can see. Who can see? Can we all see? Yes. But you know what? Some people aren't looking. There's a difference between being able to see and actually looking. Okay? And I'm going to put maybe one here. And then maybe one's down over here because I don't want them all in the same place. right? So maybe I'll put another one kind of over here, right up into the side. You put one thing in front of the other, it makes it look like there's more space. It makes it look like instead of being flat, it makes it look like there's more depth and more space in the picture. What's the main things that you can tell me about this fruit? Does it have, what, what can you tell me about it? It has lots of leaves, yes, true. What color is it? It's green. It's green, okay. So what we're doing with this fruit is we're trying to describe it in small words. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to paint it in small words. Who likes this color? Oh. That one was yellow and red with white. What's the difference? Darker. One's darker than the other one. Right. Let's do that. Let's do the flowers first. Everybody say F F. F F. Flowers first. Flowers first. Okay, we're on a roll. I'm going to make some flowers. So maybe I'll put a little light pink. Look at that. Okay, then I have a white one, right? Well, sometimes white isn't just white. If you look around the room, there's a lot of white in this room, right? Yeah. Who thinks that some of the whites are different? Now, you could put a little bit of white in your white. Could you put a little yellow in your white if you wanted to? Yeah. Who sees the way I'm doing the brush strokes? All the way around, like a little fluffy circle, like a pom-pom, right? Like a pom-pom. Then I might put some dark red in the middle of that one. Kind of do my fern. I thought the fern kind of looked like a Christmas tree. Kind of does. Yeah. It kind of looks like a mini Christmas tree. Yeah. And some of them might have a little bit of a dark center. I could yeah, use my dark. I could use my dark for that. And there's one other thing I can do. Remember, I showed it to you over here, but I didn't cover it in at the end. At the very end, I could add my water line right here. I'll do what I can <clears throat> to help you. But I want you to go slowly and try to not make any errors in this beautiful gift. Quietly and carefully, and carefully without running, if you have to. But if you don't need to, then don't. Let's keep moving because we'd love to have a group photo of 